posting content here on YouTube for about a month now and I thought it would be good to do a little bit of a like a get to know me video. So if you're interested in getting to know each other better, please stay tuned. <laughs> I was actually gonna keep this video pretty casual for you guys. I feel like we're normally a little bit more formal around here, um, but hopefully by now you've certainly seen my silly side. And so I'm kind of just hanging out. I'm actually gonna get ready for bed soon, so I'm here with my blankie. I feel like I could use like a bowl of ice cream or something, but I thought we could just do like a, like a get to know me. I thought it might be helpful to break this out in categories. I tried to think about like if I was trying to get to know somebody, right? Because I'm a huge YouTube watcher as much as I am now. I've recently become a YouTuber content creator myself. I always think like, what do I want to know about somebody when I first discover somebody and I get really excited about them and you feel like you want to know them more. So I thought I would just start with really like the basics for you guys. I am 34 years young. I say that obviously intentionally. I live in Pennsylvania in the US and I'm in between Philly and Pittsburgh, so right in the middle of the state. I don't have any children. Uh, my husband and I, so let me go into my husband. So my husband, I have a husband, I have a husband. <laughs> so my husband and I, I have a husband. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. Dave and I, and hopefully one day you guys will meet him. He's certainly a little bit camera shy, so I don't know. I don't know when you'll meet him. I don't, I don't. He exists. He exists. I, I promise. I promise. He and I have been married for, it'll be about 11 years. We originally thought we wanted kids, and I don't really know what changed. We both decided to focus on our education. We're very career-oriented, and all of that kind of took over. I wouldn't say in a bad way. I'd say in a way that just caused us to redirect our focus. We've had time to now refocus into what we truly do one and we've reevaluated, you know, do we want kids? So we're not a hundred percent sold that we don't want kids. It's heading down that path, I will say. And so yeah, yeah so I don't, I don't know. know. I might I turn up turn with a kid, with one, kid day. one day. I have a few more years here <laughs> to decide. So anyway, that's my hubby. His name is Dave. He's my other half. He's my better half, really. At this point in my life, I've been with him longer than I've been alive. So I'm 34 and we've been together for more than 17 years, which is more than half my life. So I quite literally, in the best, most independent girl girl power way don't know who I am without him at this point because we've been together that long and I'm obsessed with him in the best way. All right, so just a few more basics here. We do have a dog. We love her. She's nine. She's half Maltese, half Shih Tzu. 100% our fur baby. I feel like I birthed her. That sounds weird. All the dog moms out there, especially if you're an only dog mom, you get it. You, you get me. I am very positive uh, about body I'm positive about body positivity. Well, wow. trying to be a spokesperson for the midsize fashion movement, eight to 18, 10 to 16. I certainly fall within that range. I've always fallen within that range in my whole life. My adult weight has ranged from- I know you didn't come here to learn about my weight. Ugh, TMI, Jen, TMI. <laughs> my adult weight has ranged anywhere from 140 pounds to 250 pounds and in that range I've been a 10 through a 16 which I know is not a big range for such a large weight differentiation so as I said here today uh, I'm just over the 200 pound mark and I'm a size 14 truly would love to be a size 12 and I know for my body type when I was a size 12 I was you know anywhere between 165 to probably 185 that is my goal weight wish me luck I'm never on like a perpetual diet or anything I'm always just trying to be healthy trying to do what I can the weight that I have lost about the 50 pounds that I have lost was not drastic in terms of how fast it happened it was very slow took years so hopefully I can do that and shed another 20 30 pounds we will see we will see my favorite color is blue oh and that's that is so perfect I did not try that I did I did I didn't um, I did it okay I didn't no, for real. I love blue. I don't know that there's a house in my room that doesn't have blue in it. Maybe, maybe one, maybe my bedroom. Uh, but honestly, I often sprinkle blue everywhere I can. Leave in the comments. 
leave in the comments a color that you don't think goes with blue so that I can challenge you because I always argue that it's a neutral and obviously you can kind of pick from the the shades of blue but I always argue that blue will go with anything blue goes with blue it's just ah, that it's the best I love it so much <laughs> moving on so my husband and I we are actually very close to our respective individual families we live in the same town we yes we are yes we are those people we are those people we live in the same town that we grew up in i mean we live like a town over but like really who's counting miles at this point we're so close so close with family and extended family too i mean we hang out with family probably as much or maybe more than we hang out with friends in terms of friendships i'm you know i'm one of those people i have a few really good friends and i've always been that type of a person i've never wanted this huge network of people that you kind of barely know like i want my solid can count them on one hand type of chicks that's the kind of friendships that I strive for another fun fact my husband and I are boaters actually so you know we live in Pennsylvania we spend a good chunk of our summer in Maryland where we keep our boat so it's one of those things we did not grow up boating um, my husband it was just a dream of his and it has really been fun I'll say the one thing that has really surprised me is the fact that I like it as much as I do honestly when I first went into it I was like I'm doing this for Dave because this is Dave's dream and I've said no for many years at this point and he hasn't given up <laughs> so I knew it wasn't just a fad for him but I am really surprised at how much I do really like it maybe I'll do a boat tour at one point um, we did completely renovate our boat which it was a really fun project so I'll try to share that at some point all right next category professional I thought we could talk a little bit about professional stuff so YouTube is not my full-time job. I, I just started YouTube. I have a very serious career in the banking and financial industry that I've worked really hard for. That is a huge part of my life, obviously, and it's really fun. I love it. I really value education. I do have uh, my undergrad is in uh, finance, and then I have an MBA in finance. Shocking that I work in the financial industry, I know. <laughs> when I was thinking about doing YouTube, and I was really contemplating, I was like, do I I get a second master's degree because I really am excited to possibly get a second master's degree someday or start YouTube I knew they were both gonna be huge undertakings and I decided to start YouTube so there's plenty of time still left as I said I'm 34 years young young so I have plenty of time to go back to school I don't know maybe I'll even get a doctorate one day we'll see we will see I will keep you posted I'm really involved in philanthropic missions just throughout the community and things like that. And I certainly don't say that to get any kind of credibility or anything. Right now, I am the vice president of a nonprofit board that I do a lot of work with. I actually co-chair a 200-person gala event every year for that same organization. So that's been super fun. Um, I've been a big sister through Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, for the last, gosh, my little is about to turn 17, and I've had her since she was 11, so six years. I mean, I've been involved in a lot of other things along the way, but those are the things that I'm currently involved in right now. And like I said, it's a big part of my life, so I feel like if we're getting to know each other, you probably should know that about me. <laughs> Since my channel here and my whole social media presence, being Jen the Real Fluencer, founder of the Real Fluencer Movement, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you some of my insecurities as a person. And I'll maybe then balance those with some of the things that I do feel confident about, um, just for full transparency sake. Uh, biggest insecurity is people thinking I'm superficial because I'm into beauty and makeup and hair and all the things. <laughs> Now I have to fix my hair. Help! Where's my hair people? Hair people! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm here by myself, working for myself. Okay. Are people gonna judge me in that way? Like, oh, she only cares about her looks. You guys don't know me that well yet, but I, that really just couldn't be farther from the truth. This makeup and beauty stuff. It's a huge passion of mine, but it isn't who I am. Um, it's not what gets me out of bed in the morning, if that makes sense. But I do feel like I have accumulated some good 
tips and tricks, whatever. My second insecurity is people just thinking I'm not smart. I like to present myself well, meaning I like to do my hair, I like to do my makeup, I like to look nice, I like fashion, I like all this kind of stuff. I want that to honestly be like the least interesting thing about me. And it's funny to say that here because that's the channel that I am, obviously with an underlying mission on this channel, as you know, for transparency on social media. But, which probably says a lot more about me, hopefully, to you guys. I hope it's the least interesting thing about me, right? Like, I love to think that I'm charismatic. I love to laugh. I'm smart. If somebody met me and they walked away and the only thing they could say about me was that I was an idiot, I mean, I would be so much more offended about that than if they called me fat or ugly or honestly any superficial type of insult. So that's certainly an insecurity of mine. So if you want to be kind to me, tell me that you think I'm smart. <laughs> So in terms of body insecurity, so you know I'm all about body positivity, it doesn't mean I don't have insecurities. I think everybody has insecurities about their body, about anything in their life. Particularly with my body, it is 100% my weight and my cellulite. I would love if my weight started with the number one. I'm almost there, but I'm not quite there. I am very self-conscious about my cellulite. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm surprised you don't see it on my face because I feel like it's everywhere. <laughs> I've gotten a lot better with it. I would say a good 50% improvement over where my mindset used to be with it. So I feel at least good about that. All right, so since we just talked about all the things that are terrible about me, let's talk about the reasons why I feel confident and hopefully I portray confidence to you in the form of making you feel happy and good and all of those things. So you know before I talked about education, that's certainly one of the things that I'm most proud of. So I'm a first generation college student, so my mom even is a high school dropout. So just to be very clear, I'm very close with my parents, so this isn't me hating on my parents, you know, they didn't even know how to help me truly. And we're so close now and they're so proud of me and I love you mom and dad, I love you. They didn't even know how to help me, so I, had, I just had to figure out how to take tours on my own, get uh, financial aid on my own. My husband, which was a terrible idea at the time, any children watching this do not do this, he even had to co-sign for my student loans. So me, the 18 year old, had my then boyfriend who, to be fair, I knew I was gonna marry, but let's all be real, I was 18. I mean, there's a lot of things that can happen when you're 18 in a relationship. So anyway, so I, I really did overcome a lot, and there's honestly so much more to the story. There's a lot that happened in terms of family stuff, dealing with uh, a lot of illness and really unfortunate freak accident type scenarios that really had me running my household essentially since the age of 14. I feel like I was always kind of just an underdog in life. So that is one of the reasons why I feel really proud to have a few dif different degrees and hopefully to get more. And I'm really proud of the uh, professional financial career that I have built for myself. The next one just has to do with body positivity. And I was just gonna counterbalance what I said earlier with saying just that I'm really proud of how far I've come. I wouldn't even let people take photos of me probably as little as five years ago because I was so insecure. So I've really come a long way and through a lot of that journey and learning and all of that is why I wanna share that with all of you. Social media is a big part of sometimes what makes us feel bad about ourselves. So much good, so much good comes out of social media, honestly, but there's a lot of bad as well. That's why I just feel like if we can all just be a little bit more real, I feel like it's really come down to just like who can edit the best and it's like this constant, it's like, can we just, can we just stop? Let's just stop and if, let's just all be real. Let's, let's do it. Join the movement. There you go. I just wanted to point out too that my favorite word of all time probably is grit. I love the word grit. I feel like it perfectly describes just everything that I've been through, I guess. The idea of persevering through adversity and being an underdog and rising above it, but doing so with a positive attitude, the mentality that you wanna help others because you were able to do that versus just hating the world or having an arrogance about you. Uh, that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves actually is arrogant folk. Anybody who's arrogant, it's just, it is not my jam. I don't understand. That's a good slogan. It's not my jam. I don't understand. Yes. 
moving along. Getting into some of my biggest weaknesses. Soda. I hate that I do it. I try to limit it. It's bad. I don't have a weakness actually for desserts or a sweet tooth or anything like that. My weakness, a hundred thousand, but trillion. But trillion percent. Is carbohydrates. And the last thing I'll just say is shopping, but particularly makeup shopping. I generally love to have just affordable, like I'm an affordable person. I'm an, aff I'm an affordable person. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> I generally like things that are at a level of affordability. You know, by this point, hopefully you've seen some of my fashion hauls. They're, I genuinely love Walmart. I shop there all the time. I've shopped there for years. You know, maybe I'm okay spending 75 bucks on a shopping trip, but if I'm spending 75 bucks on one item, I have a problem with that. But it's like, but if I'm spending 75 bucks on 10 items and I'm like, this is a deal, that's a deal, where that does not apply for me is makeup. So that is my one area of weakness when it comes to shopping. I love animals probably more than the average person, I would say. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of animals here. We just have our one dog. I would love to like have a farm of animals. Animals just lift my spirit. I just can't describe it. Sometimes even on YouTube, I'll just watch videos of like, you know, kangaroos, sheep, like whatever. It doesn't matter. Earlier this year, right before quarantine. My aunt surprised us with these really cool tickets to go to a wolf sanctuary. It was probably one of my most favorite days of all of 2020 and I know that doesn't say much because 2020 is terrible. <laughs> Laughing and being goofy is really important to me. Dry humor is probably my favorite type of humor. Dave and I, my husband, cracking jokes back and forth. We're just like all the time, constantly, like we are laughing all the time the time and it is the absolute best. It is my medicine for everything. Probably animals and laughter is my medicine for everything, I think. But anyway, I used to sell jewelry for 10 years. That's how I put myself through college. It's actually how I paid for my wedding. I wanted my dream wedding at the time. I worked to sell jewelry to pay for the wedding. What's interesting about my personality, and I think it's good. You could tell me if it's not. Tell me if it's not. Tell me. I am a very direct person, but like with this really thick layer of kindness, if that makes sense. Not so much no nonsense, but like I don't want to waste anybody's time. That's fine. But I also care about being nice. Being kind is very important to me, but also I'm not a doormat. I'm not a pushover. Or a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that I'm actually very handy. So again, I kind of have this girly exterior, like I like hair and I like makeup and I want to be pretty. But I also like to get my hands dirty. Like I do flooring, I do tile work, I love tools. I generally do the smaller house projects around here myself. I like to build furniture. Anytime we ever get furniture, we have to build it. You know, I won't even let him do it. I won't even let him do it. <laughs> Um, but we do work on projects together if it's a bigger project. But I learned from a very young age, uh, my dad is very handy. Just a heads up, in case you didn't know, I actually do have a whole other channel here on YouTube, shameless plug, called Real Design Your Home. Huge passion. I mean, if you guys think I like makeup and beauty, I mean, whew, nothing compares to probably my passion for home design and interior design. We do stuff like how-tos, some DIY type of projects, do's and don'ts. Uh, again, it's all kind of with this lens of affordability. Real design your home. Hey, I just wanted to close out the video here. I, uh, my everything is dying, my memory card and my battery and it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm so tired. I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm certainly open to doing this again. Maybe if we have a bigger community and you could even ask questions and I'm absolutely open to that. But I at least tried to be somewhat comprehensive for this first time around so that you can really feel like you are getting to know me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Have a good night. I am so tired. I'll see you next time.